This weekend, it's hot out there. People are going to be heading to the shore, to the water, oceans, lakes, and rivers, just looking for some relief from that heat. And while you're there, you may run into another animal that lives there. Marine life sightings is what they're called. It's an unexpected thrill of the trip. But what happens if you encounter a sick or injured animal? The federal government, believe it or not, works with more than 100 organizations all across the country to respond to those calls for help. And CBS News' Michael George recently saw firsthand how that process works, and he even got to watch the release of some healthy seals. Michael, good morning. Tony, good morning. Now, so often beachgoers walk right up to seals, sea lions, and sea turtles with what they think are harmless intentions. Maybe they want that perfect picture, or maybe they think the animal is injured and they can help. But their actions cause more harm than they realize. During a recent trip to a wildlife rehab center on New York's Long Island, we met Willow, a seven-month-old gray seal pup. She's adorable. I see her looking right at us, and she's got these puppy dog eyes. Yeah, yeah seals are really like dogs. Um, we, you know, we call these guys kind of like the German Shepherd. They have that longer snout. But Willow hasn't had an easy life. In May, she was struck by a boat, leaving her with a fractured shoulder and deep cuts on her back. We don't want anything to happen to these guys. Maxine Montello and her team at the New York Marine Rescue Center have spent weeks rehabilitating Willow, along with Cedar, a male seal who was found with a badly infected flipper. These guys can be a handful. Very oh, much yes. so. Yes. Volunteers Lenore McGinn and Lorraine Mishagno are helping nurse Willow and Cedar back to health. Cedar is a chunky monkey. He's cute, he comes up, he looks at you, he wants more food constantly. Willow's kind of quiet. The seals all definitely have their own personalities. Unfortunately, more animals are ending up at the rescue center, and too often, we're to blame. Boats, abandoned fishing gear, and pollution are leading to injuries for seals and sea turtles. One of the biggest threats, the garbage we leave when we go to the beach. We see the entanglements, you yeah. know, with the plastic bags and the plastic in the waters. They mm -hmm. wind up in the ocean, and then the animals unfortunately suffer because they eat them thinking they're food. Another growing problem, harassment. People want to get close, they want to get that selfie, um, they want to touch that animal. If you do see them, enjoy from afar. And even well-intentioned people who think they're helping can make things worse. After Willow was injured, a good Samaritan picked her up and put her in his truck to drive her to a vet. He wasn't trying to hurt this animal, but Picking these animals up is illegal. They're federally protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act. It's easy to forget Willow and Cedar are still wild animals. If you're at the beach and you see a beached or injured animal, marine wildlife experts suggest calling the nearest rescue center. I will let you know when I'm like 10 minutes away. As we were shooting our interview, a bystander did just that calling to report a badly injured sea turtle. Do a little better. Thanks to that call, the team was able to save it. This is a uh, Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, so they're one of the most critically endangered sea turtles, so we really appreciate you guys calling. Willow and Cedar are healing nicely, and they've both put on 30 pounds. Now, Maxine says, it's time for them to go home. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. The pair had their final checkup. They got weighed. 38 two. Swabbed to check for diseases and had their blood drawn. Going in. After starting the summer in a rehab facility, it was time to return to the wild. Cedar went first and seemed all too grateful to be back in the water. But Willow was nervous. For a moment, it seemed like she wouldn't go. But eventually, that moment when they went back into the water, is that what this is all about for you? Yeah, this is the best part of the job. All our hard work paid off. It's our goal to put them back into the wild to return them home. So the big takeaway here, we share our beaches with these animals. So if we love them, that means we need to resist the urge to take that selfie and keep our distance. Federal law actually says we're supposed to stay 150 feet away from them. Okay. Some people will do anything, though, just to get the shot. You have to That's realize the, the consequences of what you're doing. And, and so you can do it, but you need to stay really far away. In fact, they say if you can hold your thumb up and you can still see the seal, that means you're way too close. So call the professionals first and then yes. get a selfie after that. Exactly. And so the professionals are, you just kind of Google Marine Rescue in your area and you'll get a phone number. Yeah, in any beach community, there's a Marine Rescue there. You've got to look that up and they know what to do. They're trained and they'll be able to handle that. How about these people in Texas apparently riding a dolphin and the dolphin dies? Come on. Come on. Michael, thank you so much.